Hey guys, my name is Wale Adesanoi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to take you through the common mistake I see you guys making when it comes to training chest. I'm gonna show you exercises that you must add as part of your routine if you're not already doing. With no further ado, follow me into this workout. So guys, Whenever it comes to training chest, one of the exercises that I always start off with is an incline press of, any, of some form, either with a bar or dumbbells. Today I'm going to use the bar for an incline barbell press to start off with. The majority of people have got really good pectoral muscles across the middle of their chest, but where you really want to add volume is the upper chest. So I'll tend to do three exercises for the upper chest before moving on to work in the mid part of the chest. So any flat movements like flat dumbbell press. Then I'll work the lower pectoral muscle using either dumbbell pullovers or using front, front raises with the cables or dumbbells to hit the, pe the lower pectoral muscles. So I'm gonna show you these exercises today. We're gonna go through some of the exercises today. Follow me through this. One of the things I love about this particular exercise when it comes to working the upper chest is you can really maximize on the load that you use. Uh, most gyms that you're training at probably have dumbbells, maybe 60, 80 kilograms tops. Uh, that's probably about 130 pound, 140 pound dumbbells for you Americans. Uh, but yeah, for me, I really love this exercise because I get good activation of the upper pectoral muscle, which is muscle mind connection. And I really control the load and fill each and every rep to maximize on each and every rep that I'm doing. The incline dumbbell flies. Um, this is a great exercise to get a good stretch on the upper chest. These exercises here, you want to be performing them before you move on to the flat dumbbell press, which works the midpoint of the chest. The whole point of this video, if you get anything from this video, is I want you to think you want to add volume to your upper chest to make your chest look like an amazing 3D pectoral. So you, if you had volume to the upper chest, it looks amazing. Even in bodybuilding, when you watch bodybuilders on stage, you can see those that have got limited upper chest versus those that have really worked on their upper chest and their chest just looks amazing. From the top all the way down to the bottom, from the side, it looks amazing from every single angle. It's like a 3D pectoral muscle. Again, activation, activation, activation is very important. You want to activate and really get a good stretch on that upper chest when performing the dumbbell incline flies. Again, to add volume to the upper chest, that's money right there. You know, when it comes to competitions, those of you that know that I compete, you know, there's a fine line between sometimes with the judges between first and second place. So if your upper chest is better than the person who's on stage with you, you're gonna win that show. Bring your body together. So hopefully you understand that. I'm gonna move on now to the third exercise, X press, which is H-E-X press. My pronunciation of the word may not be correct, but this is what I'm gonna move on to to demonstrate to you how this exercise is performed. This is a great exercise, again, to target upper chest before moving on to any flat movements. Again, whilst performing that exercise, my movement isn't just directly above my chest there. I'm really pushing the dumbbells over my face to really target that upper pectoral muscle, really trying to get that dumbbell over and stretch the muscle fibers, contract them, squeeze the dumbbells together, bring it back down to the starting position and push it over. You can't have the dumbbells in this position here. You need to tilt the dumbbells a little bit and think about pushing it over your face to really bring about target the upper chest. So an exercise that I always see most guys fighting over on a Monday, especially International Chest Day, is the barbell bench press. Because some of the first questions is when you, when you meet someone and they see that you lift is, how much do you bench, bro? <laughs> that is the common question I get whenever I meet anybody that sees my physique. I said, tell them, I don't know how much I bench, to be honest with you, because I don't really bench. You know, I always find the bench press is one exercise that I can't feel the activation of my chest as well as I do with the dumbbells. 
as I do on a barbell bench press. So I don't really bench on a regular basis. I do barbell incline press before I do barbell flat press. But I'm gonna do this exercise just to demonstrate to you guys how I feel when I'm benching. I don't get the activation that I need, nor do I get that muscle mind connection like I do when I'm using the dumbbells. I find it using the barbell flat press, especially if you've got a shoulder injury, you're at risk of injuring your shoulder and pushing that injury further back, making it a lot harder for you. So I don't know, I, try, I tend to not use the barbell bench press, I tend to go over here and use the dumbbells over here. So again, As you can see, I feel way more activation in my pectoral muscles across the midpoint of the chest using dumbbells rather than the barbell. So when it comes to flat working across the midpoint of the chest, I always use dumbbells over the barbell. So that's what I recommend for you guys out there to try. If you're already using the bar, switch it to dumbbells and see the difference in your physique. See the difference in your chest, chest activation, a muscle and mind connection. Um, it's important that you understand. You want to connect, mind and muscle connection is important, or muscle and mind connection, however you want to put it. It's important to feel each and every rep that you're performing. And tempo, when you talk about tempo, we're talking about how the muscle's contracting. So when you're lowering something, it's eccentric phase, then you've got an isometric stage where you're stabilizing it, and you've got the concentric stage when you're pushing something away. You've got the isometric stage again where you're stabilizing, and the eccentric phase again when you're lowering. So you've got like four numbers there. So when you see the numbers and you see like uh, a two, one, two, one is two seconds eccentric, one second isometric, two second concentric, one second isometric. That's all you need to think about when it comes to tempo. As long as your first rep, looks like your, or your, sorry, excuse me, your last rep looks like your first rep, you're in the money there. Focus on slowing the tempo down and really feeling each and every rep to maximize on the exercises. Before you move on to the flat dumbbell press, you're gonna do the barbell incline press first, a compound movement to really get the chest fired up and activate the upper chest. Then you're gonna move on to incline dumbbell flies. Again, to stretch the pectoral muscles, to really activate the pectoral muscles before we move on to some heavy flat dumbbell press, which I'm gonna to demonstrate to you now. This is an opportunity for you to really feel engagement of the pectoral muscle. As discussed earlier, I don't feel my activation of my pectoral muscle as well when using the bar versus the dumbbell. So when it comes to training the chest across the middle of the chest, I don't really fuck with the bar to be honest with you. I always like using dumbbells. I love dumbbells. You get more activation using dumbbells than you do from the, using the bar when it comes to working the chest across the middle. So if I was you, if you want to improve your chest, switch over to dumbbells and maximize your effort on dumbbells. So when it comes to utilizing the flat dumbbell press, there's two options that you can have. The options are do the flat dumbbell press on a bench or do the flat dumbbell press on the floor. The two exercises that I use as part of my routine to work the midpoint of my chest. Again, when doing this exercise, you wanna increase the load to the maximum load that you can manage for the rep range has been specif specif specifically recommended for you for, during your workout program. So if you're looking for hypertrophy, again, rep range scientific rationale states eight to 12 reps, but you may need to do a little bit more. You may want to do more, but for me, I like to do eight to 10 reps when I'm doing flat dumbbell press, because then I can increase the load using the progressive overload technique for each and every rep, maximizing on the gains that I make across my chest. The fifth and final exercise that I'm demonstrating for you guys is the dumbbell underarm front raises. And this is a great exercise to target the lower pectoral muscle and really finding it that I really get good activation of the pectoral muscle when I'm doing this exercise. So 
So you can also do this exercise with cable, which I'm going to demonstrate to you now. So the reason why I prefer using the cables to the dumbbells is you get the, con the constant tension from utilising the cables. When you're using the dumbbells on the eccentric loading phase, gravity is only going to work one way, the dumbbells want to come back down. So the weight is almost forcing you down, there's no tension on it there, other than the tension that you're creating yourself. With the cables, as you bring the cables up, there's tension, and as you bring the cables back down, there's tension, so that you've got constant tensions on the pectoral muscle, which gives you optimum results whilst performing this exercise. I prefer the, the cables over the dumbbells because the constant tension that you get whilst using the cable. But if the cable machine isn't available at your gym during your workout, you can switch it to dumbbells, which I do from time to time. They're just as good as one another, but with a cable you, keep, you get the constant tension across the pectoral muscle to maximize on your gains. So again, three exercises to target upper chest, one exercise to target the midpoint of the chest, one exercise to target the lower pectoral muscles. They're my five exercises that I will perform during a chest routine workout to optimize the gains on my chest. So guys, there you have it, five exercises that we performed. So let's go for a quick roundup before we finish. The first exercise I performed was the barbell incline press. Second exercise was the dumbbell incline flies. Third exercise was the dumbbell incline axe press. Fourth exercise was the heavy flat dumbbell press. The fifth exercise were the underarm front raises using the dumbbell or the cable. If you like the content that you see, please don't forget to share this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to be coached by me, follow the link in the description and sign up for my app now. Thank you very much for watching guys. God bless you all. Take care.